Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of World Wrestling Entertainment, Mr. McMahon! Well, JR, the, the backstage area has been buzzing all day long because we've heard rumors that Mr. McMahon has a huge announcement tonight concerning the future of Friday Night SmackDown. You know anything about this? I don't know a thing about it. But we're in Oklahoma and I'm almost afraid to guess. Hey, if the chairman is on Friday Night SmackDown, it's got to be something big, something significant. Thank you. Thank you for that warm Oklahoma reception. This all reminds me of, uh, of being home. And again, of course, you have to ask the question is why would Mr. Ben have a home here in Oklahoma? Why would Mr. McMahon live in this godforsaken backwards hillbilly state? If I lived here, I'm sorry, I think I'd turn to the personification of Porky the Pig. No offense there, JR. Can anybody say barbecue sauce? Not so. Nonetheless, whether you're from Oklahoma or any other part in the world, I'd like to invite you to a very special presentation of a decade celebration of SmackDown here next week. Because next week, we will honor those who have paved the way here on SmackDown, superstars such as Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. We will acknowledge contributions to those as well who pay dues each and every week here on SmackDown, such as The Undertaker and Batista. <laughs> Joining us next week on this decade of SmackDown celebration will be D-Generation X <laughs> and the current WWE Champion, John Cena. <laughs> All of that is right here next week the special decade of SmackDown celebration. But then that would lead me to the, uh, the present and the future. I'd like to introduce you to now the, the gentleman that I personally signed here on SmackDown. He reminds me a lot of, uh, well, he reminds me a lot of me, quite frankly. High intellect, a man who uh, is extraordinarily aggressive, handsome son of a gun as well. This man, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a future world heavyweight champion. This man's attitude can be summed up with a phrase, he is simply badass. And I would imagine he doesn't appreciate Oklahoma any more than I do. With that in mind, allow me to introduce you from Scotland. Here is Drew McIntyre. McIntyre personally signed by Mr. McMahon, Jr. I am uh, very impressed with Drew McIntyre. McIntyre accepts the fact that he's back jumped our truth uh, several times. Has assaulted people from behind on many occasions, but if uh, Mr. McMahon uh, believes this man to be a future world heavyweight champion, who am I to disagree? He is a very impressive athlete. Talking about McIntyre, of course. Well, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. There is nobody on the SmackDown roster that can match my unlimited potential and aggression. 
And since it seems Terry Long's been too busy to pay attention what's been transpiring on his own show the past few weeks, it has taken the chairman of the board himself to sign a real superstar to SmackDown. Now sure, next week is the decade of SmackDown celebration and we'll be celebrating the greats like The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But the following week and each week thereafter, it'll all be about me, Drew McIntyre. Now later on tonight, we have a big party in my honor. All the members of the roster over there welcoming me to SmackDown. And ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, the party has just begun. Up next. 